Mahindra, yes. just tell me about yourself. Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, thank you for giving me this uh, golden opportunity, sir. Mm -hmm. So I am Mahindra. Mm -hmm. uh, I am uh, recently graduated from Kalasingam College with an CGP of 9.5. So uh, during my academy, uh, I have done projects and uh, like automated planting devices, private roseness. So recently, I have done uh, during my training here, or uh, uh, I have done uh, rest projects like restaurant management system. Mm -hmm. uh, I am from uh, Anandabur. Very good. So uh, that's it. Yes. So can you explain about your academic project because you are comparison student, right? Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. So I have done uh, like automated planting, uh, planting devices. Like mm -hmm. uh, it's basically uses for farming uh, farmers. Yeah, uh, uh, like uh, it's like some uh, electronic devices, you know, like uh, uh, like tractors and all. So it will make way easier to farming. Mm -hmm. So like that only uh, we plan to implement uh, device like uh, so it will automatically track the track that particular area and so it will identify the, the shape of the plant or anything. So it will identify the disease like uh, uh, it can implement the crop. So that only, sir. Okay. So uh, in this project, uh, we use uh, like a Python uh, Flask and uh, like HTML CSS like a front-end modulation. I would like to ask you one thing. Yes, sir. I mean, when you are developing a project, yeah. you know, what is the difficulty you faced uh, when you are developing the things? Yeah, uh, during my project, uh, I have done uh, like uh, I faced like so many problems like. Uh, Collecting that data info or uh, like the whatever the data maybe. So in this round only I have done from where you took the data. So I I went to some like uh, uh, like fields. No? Uh, I went to fields directly and I have added up the data. So like so what are the problems? So what uh, what it will what it, what we have so what we want done that only we want to collect. So, what the other type of the crops and what are the seasons? So, what are that all that I heard. Okay, very good. So, I'm coming back to Python. Yes. Uh, how much you did yourself in Python out of five? Yeah, it's uh, three. Uh, three. Okay. What is the purpose of loops, man? Yeah. Uh, when we want to, so uh, when we need to iterate the loop, uh, like when we need to iterate some type of condition. So, whatever the condition may be, so we need that loop. Why we need to iterate? I mean, I mean, we, can you give me an example where we can iterate the things? So, uh, like uh, in a list or popular sets, uh, so in, in whatever it, it may be. So, in, uh, we need to get the data, some like uh, we need to some like even numbers, prime numbers, and whatever the data may be. So, we need to, we, we want to know some. So, so, you mean only for the reading data from data sector, we need uh, loops? Uh, no, sir. Uh, in yeah. real in real application also we, we need loops like uh, uh, in lagging system or sign up system uh, we may use loops sir. so how many uh, how many iterations we don't know sir so how many iterations like a uh, uh, user may give mm -hmm. false and mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you are you are giving completely wrong information write a program to check whether given number is yes mm -hmm. So it's like input. I want you to check whether given number is Prabhana Yes. Yeah. No, explain what is going to happen. So, like, uh, uh, basically, on Fibonacci series means like uh, it will add uh, terms in a sequence. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what I am doing is so uh, within the range. 
so i will uh, iterating a loop mm -hmm. so um, i am going through so like uh, 1 to uh, 0 1 so sorry sir, it's like 1 to n mm -hmm. so so i am adding and uh, i am replacing the, those so we need uh, why you need replace i mean what you are doing is that replacement correct you copying b is equal to a is equal to c what is that yeah yes sir. uh like uh, af after one addition so we need to take like uh, uh, next term we want to know sir mm -hmm. so like b is equals to a means uh like uh, we oh, sorry. sorry sir mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. so like a is equals to b and uh, b is equals to c mm -hmm. so i mean so i want to take the next one next one sir okay. so i need to take so a is equals to b means I, I, so i will take the next one so and uh, b is equals to c so i will take the another next one so if uh, this value is equals to uh, any particular uh, number so it will it is fibonacci or else it is not a fibonacci for example if i give 5 yes what is going to happen tell me so if it is 5 like uh, it, is, it is going through 1 so first in the case of 1 and uh, uh, like uh, a is equals to 1 and uh, b is equals to uh, one so it is not equals to uh, the current number so it will immediately it is not fibonacci sir so five is not fibonacci you mean uh, not like that sir. what man what man sorry, sir. No, no don't feel tense it's clear but the way you are feeling tense i don't know are you so don't need to worry okay so tell me what is the difference between list and double so uh, list is a data structures uh, which can implement operations like remove update delete and all mm -hmm. so tuple is also a data structures which cannot uh, which cannot be modified mm -hmm. uh, uh, which cannot be modified like uh, in terms of remove or delete or and okay that's it other than this do you have any other difference yeah and uh, uh, that's can you explain where we can use tuple yeah uh, when we want the particular data which cannot be modified or which we don't want to modify in that cases we uh, we use tuple okay can you write a program yes. like i want you to convert the given string into uppercase without using upper function okay like it's abc No, no man. How just explain what is happening there? I mean, what is the requirement? Yeah, uh, we, need we need to, to convert, convert the uppercase letter. Lowercase letter to uppercase. uppercase. Very good. Yeah. Just explain now. Yeah, if the value is in uh, like uh, in between uh, 65 to uh, like 96, in between that is, yes. Okay. Lowercase is. Yes. Uh, 65 to 96 lowercase. I and mean, why you are going till 96? I mean, 65 to 90 is uppercase, right? Mm. 97 to 122 is lowercase okay and why you are adding plus 32 i don't know and where is the chr function yeah no, okay. Yes. okay so no man okay see i mean you are confusing i'm not saying i'm not demotivating you i'm trying to make you understand see the way you are writing the code is still confusing you are computer science student the things are not matching then how the people will consider you tell me all right so don't confuse you know you, these all are small things man you can easily do it okay you tell me what do you mean of generator uh, generator is a special function which is using yield keyword or uh, uh, to get the values why we need yield keyword yeah when we uh, like uh, um, it is uh, like uh, so in generally normal uh, function uh, normal uh, uh, normal uh, functions so we use uh, like uh, we we want we need to store the data in a function so in the in these cases like uh, it uh, it's like a stack so in, in this case uh, like uh, it will store the data so uh, 
it will uh, it will uh, it will take more uh, memory so in that cases uh, yield keyword will take place so it will uh, give the data one by one so it it doesn't want to store the data i'm just stopping here man you are confusing first you are confusing uh, nothing wrong how many you know uh, mock interviews are there it's how many mock interviews with the lab coordinators yeah three four i'm batch 68 so we need to attend more right you just attend more and you have to concentrate on explanation i feel like you are having subject but you are explaining and you are confusing completely you are confusing and you are confusing opposite guy also okay so just practice we will see next time the next mock i will see and you have to give three four other three four mock interviews to the lab coordinators sure okay please thank you thank you thank you so much thank you bye